how you all doing? I am with Laura Shukamar, and today we are going to talk about equations, which is part of algebra. What is an equation? An equation is a mathematical statement in which two sides are equal. As you can see on the board, I have two examples of equations. This one is a simple equation, and this one is more of a complex one. All right, let's get started. We're going to solve this simple one in order for you to solve this more complex one. So as you can see, the equation is 2x plus 1 equals 19. But how do we get the 2x by itself? Well, we have the 1 here and a 19 here. So what we will do is subtract 1 from both sides. We met, and also this. If you're going to do something on one side, you have to do it to the other side. Otherwise, your equation will never be true anymore. So, we we'll just subtract 1 minus 1. So, this cancels out. So, then on this side, you have 2x, and on the other side, you have 18. Now, how do I get x by itself to be 1? Well, as you can see, we have a 2x, which is the same as 2 times x. So, you can divide this by 2. And remember, if you do something on one side, do it to the other. So then, these twos cancel out. So all we have remaining on one, this side is x. And in the other side, we have 9. So x equals 9. But is this actually the true value? If you don't know, you can substitute the value of x into this equation. I'll just make sure this is true. So we have 2x plus 1 equals 19. And we know that value of x is 9, so we'll do 2 times 9 plus 1 equals 19. So 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 equals 19. So 18 plus 1 is 19 equals 19. So there you have it. Both sides of the equation are true. If you get something like this, that means the value of x is correct. If you don't get something, make sure you check your math. Now that you solved a basic equation, let's get into something more complex. 2x plus x plus 5 minus 2 equals 30. So I want to get x by itself, and then I want to shorten this out. I don't like it this way. So what we'll do is we have a 2x here and an x. So what we'll do is just add them together. So we have 2x plus x, which equals 3x. And then we have a 5 minus 2. So 5 minus 2 is 3 plus 3, which equals 30. And remember, if you want to get 3x on one side by itself, you just want to subtract the 3. And make sure that if you do something on one side, do it to the other. Otherwise, your equation won't be true anymore. And then on the left side, we have 3x. On the other side, we have 27. So then, how do I get x by itself? Easy. You can just divide both sides by 3. So on the left side, we have just x. And on the other side, we have 9. Okay, so is this a tr true value for this equation? All right, you can just check it. So we'll just have to do, write the equation again. 2x plus x plus 5 minus 2 equals 30. I just wanted to get rid of, my shorten this out. So we'll just do the 2x plus x, which is 3x. 5 minus 2 is 3 which equals 30. Now don't solve it yet. We're not solving it. We're just checking it. Now we have the value of x equals 9. So we'll just use 9 in the equation. So we we'll just say 3 times 9 plus 3, which equals 30. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 3 equals 30. 30 equals 30. 
And there you have it. Both sides of the equation are true. So that means x equals 9 is the correct answer for this equation. Okay, so then congratulations. You have officially solved two equations, a basic and a complex. Now if you learn equations, you'll be able to solve these equations and others in the future. Thank you all for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe, like, like my video, and share this video.